I like working with the silk because it takes the chemical dye so well. It stays just as vibrant as when you see it when you're dyeing it. And it's also lightweight. And for outside, I discovered that it slides over the pine trees, bark, the rocks without snagging. My name's Darren Redman and I'm a textile artist, which means I work in fabric and textiles. And right now I'm working in 2D and 3D. The 2D work that I do um, are quilts and I've been making quilts for the wall, wall art, I guess for about past nine years. It just fascinates me to take a piece of fabric and cut it up and the designs just come out of my head. And then I can put it on the design wall and see how the composition looks. Then I take the two pieces that are side by side to the sewing machine and sew them together. So some of my quilts just build from the middle and sometimes I sketch them and sometimes I don't. When I'm making a quilt for the wall, I'm inside sitting at my sewing machine or cutting at my cutting table or at the design wall. And all this takes place in about a three foot section. I do this about four to five hours at a time in silence and solitude. But outside, it's you have the whole sky to yourself, all the trees, all the surrounding, all the environment. And I like to be outside. I like to hike and just be outside. That's why I started working with the larger textiles, larger pieces of fabric, so I could be outside with them. And then it just kind of comes up spontaneously. Whatever the nature provides, that's the backdrop for the fabrics. There's a challenge working outside. It's um, you have to have good knees because <laughs> you're you're on your knees or you're up and down. And I try not to reach higher than I can physically reach. I rarely use a ladder. I like to just use you know myself and nothing else around. realm at the Grand Canyon National Park and decided that I didn't want to sew quilts inside. I wanted to explore and hike and see what the colors were down inside the canyon. So I hiked and I came back up to the rim and dyed about a hundred yards of silk in the colors of the geology.
what is the art when it comes to a textile installation? Well, I think the art happens after it's installed, not during or, or while it's being installed. And then sometimes I think after it's installed, I look at the colors and how bright they are. I think, okay, that's, that's the art. Then you stand back and you think, wait a minute, maybe it's, it's the tree or the nature, or if I put it up against a brick wall. The art might be from the artisans who created the brick wall.